Hello and welcome to CMT Stuttgart 2020. This is the 2020 range, obviously, from Dreamer, a subsidiary of Rapido. This camper van is called the D68 Limited. Probably means a limited edition van rather than limited in scope, or at least that's the intention. 636 long, 205 wide, 263 high, three and a half ton basis some funny noises in the background which has nothing to do with me playing video games kickoff price 53,100 price here 61,430 so let's have a look inside now first thing see how a van can look when the table's been taken out the table will have been removed and put somewhere else which isn't Sometimes a bad idea if you want a bit more leg room uh, when there's three or four of you traveling Now one thing which is particularly nice here you've got all this light which is coming in From these two skylights. We're seeing more and more skylights in vans these days uh, This one here one of the options uh, will have been this gearbox which will have uh, put the price up a fair bit. Notice there that it was 10,000 euros worth of options taken, approximately, and that would have been a significant amount. Sink. Nice square shape. I really like these uh, square shape. This is from the company Can. Useful, practical, easy to put in. Straight down straight along you know in a van save space that's a good idea the um this look it's ergonomic it looks practical and you can cover it okay in this case here in the kitchen we've got this rather big fridge which I'm not going to open because it's got a lock on it uh, which I understand why things like that are done it's a trade fair let's have a look and down here okay lengthwise beds two of them okay not enough room for a um, wardrobe in the, sort of the usual position so it goes above your feet Sometimes they have ones with a, uh, a part here which will come out and allow you longer things to fall through. In this case, they haven't bothered. And if a van of this size, well, 636 washrooms. Okay, I suppose I was thinking, okay, that's really good, but you know, it's, it's not too bad. These, uh, I'll come inside actually, so you can see. Mm, how to do this? Shall I put this there? You can see my arm, you can see my head. Oh, so you can't see my head, I'll have to put the thing up a bit. There we go. Space there. It's only 205 centimeters wide, can't expect too much. And, let's get this. Nice sliding door. Oh dear, it's not working. Try again. All right. Well, I tried. Let's try. Give it another go from this end. No, what? That's handy. So it'll work from this end, but not from that end. Well, that's useful putting stuff down here. So, well, uh, oh, that's a nice size drawer, that one. And on the other side as well. Well, there's a sliding thing there as well, but I can't open it. It's obviously designed for people stronger than I am. I do appreciate that people come in these vans and start messing around with things and they may break them at a trade fair. 
here we have a divider. You know, I'll show you this, assume I can get this one to work. Oh, that's all right, that's still working. Accordion door, apparently it's called. Somebody told me that from the United States, but I hope my mother actually used the same expression. That's quite nice, though, in the van. Cloth material, light. I think you know, those sorts, these sort of things should be used even in uh, more expensive vans. And if you don't want that one, we've got another one here. Hmm. Two oh, see, that's, that's that's broken already. Okay, have a look up here. One of the things I do want to point out here is, well I have pointed out, things which are broken. Now I did mention it's a trade fair and people tend to break things, such as me, but um, it also shows for the quality. Um, the thing is this, is if a van is relatively cheap and then it sort of breaks, well who's to, who's to blame for that? Oh, and there's another one of the innovations for 2020. Being a bit sarcastic here. Lots of companies have started putting rubbish bins in vans. You know, stick your, your bits of carrots and potato peelings and things like that in there. Oh, closes by itself. And you've got a central locking here as well. Right. Oh, nice. I think the, the background uh, lighting here is very good. I'll leave that one off, I think. Television's up there. You've got a nice um, logo in there. Right, so that background noise appears to be coming from the canal stand, which is uh, down there. So I think I might be going down there and turning it off. Here we've got a kitchen extender. Here we've got a little cubby hole thing, and at the bottom, there's somewhere for your uh, flip flops and sandals and things. Right, so I'll, I'll take you around a, a quick tour around the Dreamer stand so you can compare the uh, vans to each other. I'm hoping that the lights though are going to work because they, they might need to be on. They uh, don't work, then uh, I'll just have to, I'll show, I'll show it even quicker. This is a family select fan. What's interesting about this, you've got the bed in the roof up there. <coughs> you've got two uh, bunks in the back. Oh, kitchen up a height, unusual de uh, design for a van. This thing here is used to keep the gas in. So you can get two full size uh, canisters in there, as well as having a seat, a bench. This is D42. This one here costs 44,310 in this condition, starts off at 42,100. I know the lights aren't working because this is the first one I looked at. Um, you've got a bed, side bed, which can be extended. A little bit like that. There you go. I hope there's a thing that comes out to actually give it a bit of support. Camper van XL. The as I opened it. The light up there came on. Let's walk inside. So that's what it looks like inside. Lights are turned on up here. And they work. So 
So uh, compare this one to the family van select. Uh, this one, very high roof, great storage possibilities. You've got a bed up there. Here is your wardrobe. And this is the clever bit. There's the shower. And as I push this back there, there's a, mag there's a magnet. Clicks on. And then you've got this ho horse box shower. quite good actually but if you're gonna put your wardrobe in the shower it means you've got to have a toilet in a different position and the toilet is not so well thought out it's got the door comes in two parts but you know I'm pretty thin uh, well, I'm I'm exaggerating a bit there, but I'm finished, and it's a bit of tight for me. Of course, let's remember it's only 205 centimeters wide. Anyway, four person van for sleeps four. Not a bad idea. I'll tell you what they could do if they want to do something along these lines make it a bit shorter, get rid of the bed at the back, bang, and uh, Maybe put a bit more storage. Two person van with a bed up a height. Good, good idea. Right, so we'll have a look at this one here. The Dreamer D55, if it's open. So we've got a single bed at the back. Got the same toilet, sorry, toilet on the left, shower set up on the right, no bed above. This thing here costs 50, 49,050, starts off 47,700 G55 exclusive. D55 Limited, 52,200, starts off at 56,370. Note how I open the door, the lights come on. That is a nice little feature. However, when they turn the lights on inside, they don't come on. But you get the impression anyway. <clears throat> Bed at the back. Funny. Uh, Horse box style toilet, and yeah, this is this one is the re Red Addict brought out in January 2020, costing 53,380. This distinguishes itself by having a ladder up to the roof in the tent. Sorry, the tent in the roof, not a roof in the tent. Well, actually, it's true. There's a roof in the tent as well as being a tent in the roof, and sort of normal toilet. Let's see if the lights work. Oh, asking you shall be given. I'll show you in the bathroom. Assuming it works, I mean. Okay, right. Well, there you go. For smallish van, you've got a rather ample wet room. Okay, so this is Dreamer, and uh, hope you found that of interest. If you did, please do consider uh, supporting on Patreon. Oh, and do please subscribe, that would be very useful to me. Thank you, all the best.